today I have another example of a drop clock. These two here are short drops and this is a long drop. I'm hopeful that it's obvious why it's called a long drop. Uh, this bit here is longer than this bit. That bit being the bottom of the clock. If you're experienced with clocks you may uh, recognize the regulator A bit on the door. That is Ansonia terminology and if it wasn't obvious enough as it is, this is not an Ansonia. We'll get into that in a bit though. For now I want to get this out of the way, let you hear it. Let me show you how it opens. There's a little wooden latch here that you undo and then you can push this metal piece here out of the way. Um, and you can observe my horrible, shoddy, very, um, dangerous, I would say, attempt at fixing this glass in. This should be solder, but I don't have a soldering iron. So, let's let you hear that now. It only strikes on the hour. Metal on metal coil gone. This door is finicky. There we go. Here is your look at the dial. A very flaky and very worn dial. I attempted to make some resurrections. Um, so yeah, that's just there forever, I guess. And I did do a slightly good job with the 2 for the 12. And I filled in a few gaps. You might be able to see it just there. Right in the center of that first one on the 11. I think there was a few more here. But yeah. Did my best on that, I guess. We're gonna just very gently set that down so I don't flake it anymore. There's that pendulum bob, by the way. Got the nice little leaves on the harp. Sort of harp thingy. Two string harp. <laughs> and here's your look at the movement. Now, you might think at first this is an Ansonia movement, however, upon further inspection, you'll see that instead of the Insan uh, ugh, in Ansonia text, it says Special Examined Skillful Clock, or Special Skillful Examined Clock, however you, you want to read it, I don't know. Also, someone made a very poor attempt at scratching USA into the brass. Yeah, that's simply not the case. This is a Japanese clock. This trademark here, which is an H inside of a heart, which is also visible on the face, but with multiple hearts surrounding it and stars as well. And then the text on the side here that says hearth. This is not an American clock. Yeah, it's Japanese. I just said that. So, they put hearth here for some unknown reason. I don't think hearth means the same thing as heart, but the idea was there, I guess. A lot of Asian clock companies borrowed this design from Ansonia. There's a lot of Korean clocks that use this, like Sam Hyung, if I'm pronouncing the name correctly. That trademark is... Uh, I think it's an S inside of a triangle and a circle, and there's an H hidden in it as well, but that's a completely different trademark and off topic. This is a very greasy movement, and no doubt down the line it'll probably need a clean, but it runs fine for the most part. And I just need to tighten this hinge now. That's why I took the face off. It's not out of beat or anything. I already fixed that as soon as I got that clock, this clock. And there we are back up on the wall. As you can see, according to my Polaris, it is, what is that, 1643? So we're going to set that to the time now. Hopefully my adjustment, it barely paid off, but... Whatever, just as long as I'm careful with that hinge. 
Okay, 16.43 according to my watch. It's got that minute hand drop that I'm very picky about. That should be okay though. Right there. And reset. I bought this clock from an antique shop in Stillwater, Minnesota. I was on a week-long trip with a very close internet friend of mine, and we went antique browsing as one of our activities, and I saw this, and I was like, ah, I've been wanting a Japanese wall clock like this, and I immediately knew it was Japanese thanks to that regulator A thing in the glass and the strange trademark. So yeah, another very interesting addition. Now I get to wind every single one of these because I've been gone for a week. I've already taken care of the cuckoo clocks as you can see and that OG, or not OG, it's a column clock actually. But yeah, I'll see you on the flip side.